let's look at how to configure OpenSSH root password and key authentication. So first of all, I have two machines, a client and a server. I want them both to be able to log into each other. I have the OpenSSH server up and running, and we can go ahead and verify that. So I'm going to log in as root, and then I can do a system CTL status SSH, and I can see that it is currently enabled and it is actively running. So that's good. On the client end, let's check the server. The server, I do a sudo minus i, then I do system ctl status sh, and I can see that this one also is enabled and it is actively running. All right, so in order to be able to authenticate using passwords, you need to allow that to happen. So I will do a nano on the etc ssh shd under shd underscore config file and in here you can see there is this thing called permit root login prohibit password. We don't want that one per se but we do want one that's similar so I'll do permit root login and just yes. And that will allow me to log in as root using the root password. So I'll go ahead and exit out of there. And I will restart my SSH service. So system CTL restart SSH. So now my machine will allow a root login using the password. However, this is an Ubuntu machine and there is no default root password. So I can do that set password with passwd and root just to make sure i'm actually setting a root password even though root is the default and i can go ahead and type in a password and then it gets set there correctly now at this point the client should be able to log in using the root password so i'll jump over to the client machine and i'm going to now allow the client machine to also log in using a root password be logged into using the root password so then nano etc ssh sshd underscore config and i will do the same thing go down to these permit root login thing permit root login and i'll change that to yes and i'll restart the service So now I should be able to log in using the root password. Now I just need to set a root password on this machine as well. And I set the password. And it doesn't like the password, but that's okay. All right. Now at this point, let me try log in. So I do SSH server. And I can do root at server or just server because I'm already logged into the root account. But let's do root at server. And it asked me to save the fingerprint, and I said yes, and I can put in the password, and then I'm into the server. You can see right here, it is the server. So I'll exit, back to the client again. Okay, so that worked. We know that you can log in using the password that direction. Now let's try the other way. SSH client. Client and yes save the key and i'll put in the root password and you can see that now i'm into the client machine i can type in exit and leave the client machine so i'm back to the server all right so we go ahead and clear that and clear this and that allows me to do key or actually password based authentication if i want to do key based authentication i need to actually have a key installed on each side so i'll do an SSH key gen and so what it wants to do is create a file called id underscore ed 25519 which is going to have my private key so I just press enter it already exists and let's go ahead and overwrite it sure let's overwrite that and 
if I want a passphrase, it allows me to put a passphrase in here. This is basically like a password to go with your key. I don't need that. And here we go. It generates it. It also generated the pub file right here. So that's good. I can do the same thing on the other side. So I'll do SSH key gen. And I can just press enter a few times and it generates my public and private keys. At this point, I can try pushing the keys across. Now, if you look in my dot SSH directory, you can see there is this authorized keys file, which is empty. You can see there is a key, the ID ed25519, and there is the dot pub version, which is the public key. So I have the private key and the public key and the private public key pair. And I want to push my key over to the other side. And the way I can do that is SSH copy ID. And I want to copy it to the client. I could do root at client or just client because it will automatically assume root. But let's do root at client. And what it does is it now tries to make a connection and then once it makes this connection i have to go put this password in here for the uh, client machine it will push the key over if i try running the same command again because i have already pushed the key over it should be authorized and it should allow me to automatically just push the key over no prompt passwords at all so that works now i can just ssh to my client machine and get in instantly no problem all right now, let's go back to the client machine and make it so that it can log into the server. So, I have my keys generated and I do SSH copy, copy ID to my server. And it prompts you for the password. I put in the password and then it pushes it over there. I could try running the same command over again and now it does not prompt me for a password because it's over there already. So now I can just SSH into my server and get there no problems, which is nice. But the next important thing is, well, what if I don't want to be able to use passwords to log in? I just want to do key based only. All right. So then I go nano. And then I edit that same file again, SSH, SSHD config. And you go down to this section right here where it says permit root login. I get comment this one out, uncomment this one, and then it'll be prohibit password, which will allow me to use the key only. So then I go ahead and restart my service system, CTL restart SSH, and now it does not allow password based authentication. So let's go ahead and jump over this one right here. Do the same thing, nano dc ssh shd underscore config, go down here, comment this one out, and uncomment the prohibit password one. Restart the service, restart ssh. At this point, I should be able to log into both machines using the key. So from the server, I can do ssh client. And it gets in just fine. And let's go ahead and switch over to the client machine, SSH server. It should get in there just fine. So that's great. Now, if I were to exit out of the server and exit out of the root account, so now I'm back into the regular Joseph account on the client machine. I try SSH to the server. Well, Joseph already has that set up. But if I do SSH to root, at server it will now prompt for a password now even if I know the password it will still reject it so I can try guessing as many times as I want I could be correct every single time I try logging in with a password it will always just reject it and this makes it so that anybody who's doing some kind of a brute force attack will not be able to log in however people who are authorized with keys already can log in directly using the key so that's how you set up 
your password and Keybase authentication.